Hello friends! So, I've always been the sort of person who's had a lot of problems with change. Most of the time I either just ignore it or pretend it doesn't exist, despite it being one of the few things in life that's pretty certain. But sometimes that's not a good thing because that can lead me into a complete tailspin when some change, no matter how big or small, does occur. I was thinking about that this weekend because apparently the last time I went shopping I accidentally bought the wrong kind of toothpaste. And yeah, in the scheme of things, that's not really a big deal, but for some reason it feels like a really huge deal to me. I mean, you do not realize how many times a day you taste your toothpaste. And for me, toothpaste flavor has been a constant, and now that that's disrupted, my entire life is in disarray. Okay, no, I'm being overdramatic, but still. Now, I looked into this a long time ago, trying to figure out why I hate change so much, and it turns out a lot of it is rooted in fear of the unknown. People who have a fear of the unknown tend to project that as a fear of change, because change is something we encounter on a daily basis, and it's something we're not quite sure how to deal with. Coincidentally, a lot of these people, including myself, happen to have been afraid of the dark when we were younger. Mainly because, especially as a child, the darkness is a constant visual reminder that there are things around us that we don't understand. And the reason that is more prevalent when you're a child is because it also relates to a fear of lack of control, which is even more prevalent when you are a child. At least assuming there's no toddlers watching this or anything. If there are, please turn this off, I swear way too much for you. So anyway, how did those of us who hate change learn to deal with it? Well, as it turns out, there are several competing theories for that, which makes the process even more difficult. Because essentially, if one theory doesn't work, you're supposed to try another one, and that change is something that we're ultimately trying to avoid. But anyway, one of the most heralded ways of getting used to change is to act really excited about it. I know it seems a little counterintuitive, but it comes back to the whole fake it till you make it thing. It's just like how when you're upset and you force yourself to smile, supposedly it makes you feel happier. So basically, if you just keep telling yourself, oh, this change is awesome, ultimately you can trick your brain into thinking that change really is awesome. Now, if you want to try this and you're not practiced in it yet, I would suggest starting with a smaller change. Don't immediately jump into, yes, I changed my whole life, but maybe start with like, yes, I changed brands of laundry detergent. Now, if you're still uncomfortable with change, usually the next step involves giving some of the control you have to someone else. I mean, when a change happens, usually you're working hard to gather all the information and make an informed decision. But sometimes when you're doing that and also eventually reeling from the oh god, I have to make a change thing itself, it can be really hard to make said decision. And when that happens, the best thing you can do is ask someone for advice of what they would do in your situation. And don't just do it to have a platform to complain. Actually listen to their advice and consider it. It doesn't mean you actually have to take it, but considering advice goes a long way. And if nothing else, maybe you'll come up with your own solution. Again, that sort of thing can be kind of uncomfortable at first, but it never hurts to hear someone else's take on the situation. Worst case scenario, you're right back where you started. But anyway, I'm gonna go work on some of those and see if I can figure some of this crap out. And by figure it out, I mean I'm going to go back to the store and get my regular brand of toothpaste. Because seriously, there are a lot of things I can change in life, but I like my damn toothpaste. But anyway, I'm gonna head out, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!